afternoon, everyone. Uh, Booyaka, booyaka. Uh, 619, Rome Mysterio. No, I'm not Rome Mysterio, by the way. I'm wearing his mask, but I'm not Rome Mysterio. Sorry to disappoint you. Uh, I'm Lee Shrekman. Welcome back. I'll just give you a few minutes to join in. Uh, I'm assuming my friend Josh will be here in a second. I uh, just need to edit this out. Uh, yeah, like that. I'm still gutted about yesterday when I accidentally released Daily Alley. I'm absolutely gutted about that. Um, hello, by the way. Um, I will be starting my Rafe Rovers save on Monday when it comes to YouTube stuff. Um, I was going to start later on in the week or the week after, but circumstances have made it um, made it so I can't do that. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but basically, um, yeah, it didn't, it, it didn't go well at Everton in the end. But yeah, I don't want to say anything just in case it puts people off wanting to watch it. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my webcam just right. There we go. That's it. Uh, how is everyone today? Are you all okay? It's uh, it's very cold today. Um, Harry Clark's doing well. He is in the top 50 next gen. And he also got his first cap for Wales at 16 years old. So he has a very bright future. Um, when, I get, when I start a new save on Switch, I might keep this as an offline save. Because I'm quite enjoying this Newcastle save at the moment. And then that way I can give you updates and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Lewis Marley doing well at Sevilla. Well, work our way through these. Uh, nothing really to tell you so far by the looks of it. Uncha on loan, doing well. These aren't good enough, so we'll just try and get rid of them. He's good enough, so I don't know why they're saying that for. And he is, isn't he? I know he's not very good. That will just set him for release. So yeah, just to let you know. Uh, we'll have a new save on YouTube starting Monday. I've still got episodes coming up for the rest of the weekend for the Everton journey, if you want to see how that abruptly ends, unfortunately. Right, then. So we've got... I'll just go through these. We've got Villa in the next game. Keep our top four... Dreams alive. We could do with winning that. All right. Uh, have a look at the lineup. We've got Costa in goal. We've got Phillips as wide centre back. Yeah, that's fine. Inacio, the ball putting. Uh, we can do that role. Hotman. Yep. Yeah. Gusto. A complete wing back. Yeah. Okay. I think everybody's in their favourite roles, so to speak. Back attack. Linton. All winning midfield or defensive, yep. Yeah. Bruno. Line playing midfield or defensive. Put him as a deep line playing. Support though. Messi, is he an inside forward? Oh, what have I done there? Messi for a playmaker support. Uh, Son, you're a win for a, a win, you're a Radamantel. And you're a poacher, yeah. 
All right, so this is the first game of the stream. Now we get on. Feel free to say hello in the chat. You're on. Or as if you in. Hopefully a few of you will join me at some point. It doesn't feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Uh, this might be a decent episode for you people on YouTube if I'm not talking to other people. At least you can just concentrate on the action and instead of me rambling on talking to other people about wrestling and stuff. Starting the game strong. But he had two shots. Got a messy corner coming up. Buzzing that we got messy for another season if we did do this as, uh, for another season online. I'm going to have a think over the weekend, figure out whether I want to keep this as an online save or just do the last season or two offline. There we go. Victor Osman. Nice, a nice little volley. Uh, Villa possession now. Defended by us. Costa passes it out to Nietzsche. Nietzsche to Botman. Hakimi. Hakimi keeps possession of the ball, gives it back to Botman. Botman to Bruno. Back to Nietzsche, who gives it to Botman again. Botman getting a lot of touches in this half. Hakimi to Bruno. Now we hopefully can build some. There we go. Yes, get in. Ah, oh, here we go. Spoil sport. I need to check and see if I've got enough disc, uh, disc space. Mm, running low. Need to uh, put the recycle bin on my computer. Just bear with me. Let me just pause this seed so I don't. Bear with me. These hopefully we won't cock up like we did yesterday. What I did yesterday is to try and get space for my Twitch stream. I accidentally deleted two episodes I needed to edit for YouTube, the Everton same. So um yeah, so that was annoying. And I and I permanently deleted them from the recycle bin as well. So they were lost. I had to do four episodes today. Right, 2-0 up. Austin M got two goals. The second goal was allowed after initially getting flagged up by the AR. Uh, right. Nathan, Nathaniel Phillips is injured. We'll put on Dia Monday. I don't know why Nathan Phillips is getting first team football if Dia Monday's there. Fact. Shouldn't be playing unless the last resort. He's doing all right though. He's 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 decent enough. Shouldn't be first team starter. In the H M D on Monday. And then Botman. That should be the three main centre backs. Right there we go. Son. Is it to Hakimi? Good goal by Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi agreeing to stay for another year. Still showing he can do it. Geordie fans absolutely love him. Such a shame that we never got to see Messi in the Premier League. Then again, would he have been as good in the Premier League? We would, we'll never know. I think he would, though, to be honest. He'd have to be the right team. If he was at Man City, for instance, I think he'd be really good. If he was at Man United, not so much good. And like I said, I'm a Man United fan, so I can be cynical because we're not very good at the moment. Right. What about Messi? I'm just going to pause this game a second. Keep them.
Um, seconds. And just in here, hope we get somebody interested joining in. That's that done. Get back on with the game. Got a corner. Ended it well. Just scored. Luckily, we're winning 3 1, so we don't need to stress too much. If they get another goal, then it's time to panic. Um, we win this game. We are. Fifth in the league, but there's a long way to go yet in this game. Get top four. We get top four, I'll do another season online. If we don't get Champions League football, then I'm just going to call it a day. Start my journey, man, save. Defending there by us. I was trying to think of other, like, old players that are still really good. I could bring in as the theme here as the narrative um because we've got like Akim Akim is not that old though is he um son obviously Neymar Messi how old's Akimi? oh he's only 27 what am I on about I thought he was way older than that I forgot we signed him I thought for some reason we signed him on a free transfer yeah son Messi Neymar Trying to think of like players like that. I thought like Benzema, but he looked on here just before I started to save and he's uh tired unfortunately. Ronaldo would have been a good one, but he retired. He was no way of me getting him. I was lucky to get Messi, I couldn't believe I got Messi. He's been a great signing for us. Looking at him, he's now got the ball, he gets tackled. Um right. Before we watch the rest of this highlight, I need to take some players off. Messy arrest. Harry Clark on. Right, give him a few minutes each game now, or we'll give him some game time in the Cups. He looks like a right good prospect for us. Bruno. He shoot. He does. Good save by their goalkeeper. Right, 3 1. Good, good start to the stream. Now, fifth, three points behind Chelsea and Arsenal. Arsenal's got a game ahead of us. I wish everybody just played at the same time. It just makes it really confusing to figure things out. Right, Sun's out for three weeks. What a surprise. He's very injury prone in this save. Kimi was excellent for us. Seems like a quiet day on Twitch. I think I've just been very lucky to have um, Josh turn up most days on here. But uh, I did mess. I did message my mate Josh, but he's busy. So uh, got work stuff to do. Um, I won't be on Twitch tomorrow for anybody watching this on the recap. If you're watching on YouTube, so um, I'll be back on on Monday, either with Newcastle season four. Um, or new, a complete new save, um, the journeyman save I've been talking about for a while. But yeah, so hopefully we'll, I'll figure that out by the end of this stream, what I'm going to do next. I'm really enjoying this save with Newcastle. I like the narrative of signing in older players that have still got something left in the tank, like Messi and Neymar. Um, but obviously buying a few good players for the future as well, like Osserman and and then sorry and players like that so yeah right copsy uh yeah i'm good mate how are you how's your day been what you been up to i'm so glad you're here by the way i've been talking to myself for the last 10 15 minutes um i've only played one game on this stream i beat um villa 3-1 just quickly show you 
Yeah, won the last game 3-1. Uh, Ossinem got two and Messi got one. Messi is uh, Messi's agreed to stay on for another year, Copsey, so I'm, I'm debating on whether to do another season with Newcastle. The plan was to only do three seasons, but if I get Champions League football, I might do one more season, Messi's last season in football, and then also hopefully try and win Champions League. So, but we'll see if we get top four first. If we don't get top four, I'll leave it. Yeah, yeah, the save's going well, mate. Um, Messi is surprisingly very consistently good. Still, um, nine goals and fourteen assists this season, so he's not he's not slowing down. He's 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 yeah, his attributes aren't going down that much. Um, did all right last season as well, ten goals and seven assists. So he's on, he's on target to do better than he did last season if he carries on. Yeah, he's uh, he's managed to get Austin M to sign a new contract, but he he's he's on a hefty hefty wage, eight hundred and fifty k to keep him. I think I've got several players on that wage at the moment. Let me have a look. Contract. Here we go. We'll go. Oh, we need to move this up. Oh no, it's only him. I thought for some reason we had another player. But yeah, some big wages here. He wanted a massive wage to stay here. I think he's worth it at the end of the day. He's done really well this season. 17 goals in 23 games was better last season. All right, Josh. Yeah, 850 grand on a... I can't even... That means I can't sell him either. No one will pay that much. Uh, I'm pretty sure. How do you find that out? I'm, pr I'm pretty certain he is. I can have a quick look at the... I don't know how to do it on here. Would it tell me? I'll go... If I, if I just look at the other top teams while I wait for you to tell me. Ah, uh, no. So you've got, you got Alisson, who's on literally 950 grand a week. Van Dijk's on 750 a week. 750 grand a week. Liverpool are going to be destitute by the end of it. Look at them. Absolute piss take they are. Man City are probably the same. I know you've got seven, 650, 650. So, Allison, probably on the highest wage in the league. Yeah, Arsenal won't. Man United probably be. Let's have a look at Chelsea. Chelsea love spending money. Oh, they're, they're, they're quite good with their wage budgets as well. I thought they'd be worse than that. Uh, Man United. I think Man United is the only other team we can look at, probably. No, even them. So, yeah, Allison. Allison, yeah. Uh, sorry to hear that, Josh. Um, I hope you feel better soon, mate. Hello to anybody else that's joined the chat. Feel free to join in. Um, yeah, I was, I was so glad you two turned up because I was literally talking to myself for the first 10 minutes on here. But yeah, yeah. This is what happens on these football manager saves. You get these players on ridiculous wages and then big clubs like Man City and Liverpool end up getting a massive amount of debt. I think it's just very... Uh, I, think, I don't know if it's reflecting in real life. I don't know. I don't know if that's what's going to happen in real life with big clubs. It can only it can only go so far before it becomes unsustainable. But yeah, you, your your team Liverpool spending the most amount of money, Copsy. Right, we're playing Luton now. Uh, I think it's a relatively unchanged team. Kod is left back. I believe it was that, I think, to be honest. Finale, is he... Uh... There he is. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just leave it as that. Oh, no, Pedro Chavez. We'll have him as an inside forward support. Go. Right, that's that. Let's see how we get on. Uh, how, how, how good is... Um... Allison is probably the best goalkeeper in the world, so I probably agree with the Copsy. But I mean, he's getting a million, nearly a million a week. It's ridiculous. Oh, you finally got a save, Josh. Well done, mate. Um, you'll get bored of Inter Milan, though. I don't understand why you go for these big teams. Uh, right. Let me have a look and see if I can find Gusto. Is he playing? Oh, there he is. 
So Gusto has only played, he's played six games, got one goal. I was rating a 6.83. He's okay, I suppose. He's all right. He hasn't played much at Chelsea. He's a backup option, but he's playing more at the moment. Um, because Hakimi's not playing this game, so I think it'd be Hakimi usually playing as left back. Have you signed anybody good on with Inter Milan, Josh? Topsy, have you, have you started playing Football Manager again yet? Yeah, Gusto should do eventually. Oh, hold on. Fix that. Yeah. Oh, you only just selected them. Yeah, he's still on a break, Topsy. I don't blame him. I think Josh, uh, my mate Josh here, Zona, Mr. FM, I think he could do with a break from FM because he, he starts to save and then gets bored very quickly. I've already put you off. How have I already put you off? You're so fickle. You're so easily swayed. Oh, dear. Josh, I just think football manager's not, not the game for you anymore. I think you need to look for a different, an alternative game. Any suggestions, Copsy? Any games he can play that are a little bit harder for him? Or any football teams that would be really, really hard that you can get into? And won't just win straight away. Yes, go on, Austin M. 1 0, get in. Austin M banging them in. It is the best game in the world. Uh, I'd say GTA is probably slightly better because of the, because of, I think you'd have more fun playing GTA. Why don't you play GTA? Why don't you try the role play servers on GTA? Or just go online on GTA in general? You might enjoy that. You might be able to interact with people while you're playing it like I do. I had a, a bit of banter with the these characters who were playing police officers. So I was I was giving them a little bit of cheek and uh I was trying to escape the jet the jet the prison cells. Police cells, sorry, police cells. And that's so that was quite funny. That is on my YouTube channel, by the way, if you want to watch it with the interaction with me and the police. Um I can't remember when exactly it is, but yeah, just if you keep watching it, it's quite funny. Definitely worth staying in, staying on and watching it. All right, Gonzalez is not playing very particularly well, so we'll put on the run. Is Avatar is it is Avatar the film that they made a game of? That is that what it is, Copsy? You, you say you want to conquer Italy, but then as soon as you do that, within a season or two, you'll be bored. Bloody hell, I've got seven people on here now. Hello, everybody. Uh, feel free to... Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. I just jinxed it. They didn't come up with seven and now five. So that's funny. Um, yeah, but hello to anybody else in the Twitch chat. Feel free to make suggestions for Josh on what teams to manage that are hard on Football Manager or alternative games he can play other than Football Manager. Bruna. How about they're in? Hey, already now. Oh, hit the post. Come on, KOD. Oh, hit the post again. I was posted twice then. Yeah, five now. That was so funny. It went literally seven to five on the viewers thing. I was like, I was like, bloody hell, I got seven people on here. I was buzzing. And then they disappeared. It's almost as if I scared them off. They probably all thought I was Ray Mysterio. They probably thought, bloody hell, Ray Mysterio has let himself go, hasn't he? All right, we're still 1-0 with a few minutes to go. Take Messi off. Oh, we can't. Right, okay. What's Rad, What's Rad Brad? Oh, okay. So he's, he's, a, he's a YouTuber that plays um, Avatar games, is he? It was a, we, we, I actually had my first uh, female follower on Twitch uh, the other day, Copsy, and she plays... Oh, what's the game called now? V Vantor, or Vantor or something like that? I can't remember what it is now. Uh, hold on. This better not be a Rick roll, Josh. If I click on this and it's it's uh, Rick Astley. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Sorry, I apologise. That's it. Valorant. There you go. Thank you, Josh. You should be my admin, Josh. You're much better at remembering things than I am. Um, 
But yeah, Copsy should give uh, Valorant a, a try. It looks pretty good from what I've seen. It's like a shooting game similar to Call of Duty or Halo. Oh, Josh, you won't believe what happened on here. I think you missed it. On here, uh, yesterday, I was doing a staff meeting, and you know how quick I am on doing this, and I'm clicking through, and he flipping, he recommends that I mutually uh, agree to terminate Deli Addy's contract. Like an idiot, I wasn't paying attention. Next thing I know, I get a news item to say that Deli alley has been released. Oh, I was gutted. Absolutely gutted. I was heartbroken, and I couldn't sign him back. Because obviously when you release them, they don't come back. Oh, I was, mate. Honestly, the, the save nearly ended there and then. If I didn't have Messi, I'd have ended that save. That was a real low light of the save, that was. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely gutted about that. Actually, has he gone anywhere? Let's see if he's gone anywhere yet. No, he still hasn't gone anywhere. I'll see if I can sign him. Probably won't come. No. Nah. Yeah, he's only just recently. So if he's still not with a club at the end of the season, I'm going to re-sign him. And we're going to bring him back and we're going to team him up with Messi for the one last season on this save. If I get top four, though. It depends on if I get top four. Yeah. I know. His, his, his mental health probably took a right beating. Bless him. I didn't do it on purpose, I promise. He actually played all right for me when he played. He did score a couple of goals. Yeah, he, he probably will. Yeah. Hopefully he'll get... I mean, if I don't sign him, I hope he gets another club. I don't want him to retire at 30 years old. Oh, Josh. My, uh, my, Everton, my Everton saves ended, mate. I got bloody sacked. I got promoted in the first season to the Premiership. In the second season, of the Premiership, I literally, I just couldn't get, I couldn't get any consistency, and I kept losing. I changed tactics about three or four times, couldn't get anywhere, and uh, in the end, I got sacked. So that's the end of the save. So I start me Ray for over save on YouTube on Monday. So uh, that might be more interesting to some people because it won't be as easy. They can watch me just lose all the time. Yeah, I might do a French one eventually. Why don't you do a French journeyman save if you're really into it? Why don't you start with that 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 social or whatever they're called? You said you've been you've been saying it for the last few days about them and you haven't bothered. Why don't you start a save with them? Doing well in my Ren save. I've made about, I've got about 300 million in the bank from just selling all my players that are decent. And then I just play my young players from the youth system and they're all pretty good. And then they get better and then I sell them. So yeah, I've made so much money in the transfer market. I'm not signing anybody. I'm just, I'm just using the squad that I've got and signing uh, and just like playing the youth academy players. Right, I signed a new contract. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be this. <laughs> You're so easy to sway. Just why don't you start a save with that so short and see how you get on with it? Try and do at least the season with them, even if you're bored. I really worry about you. Topsy, any advice for Josh? Not the necessary playing FM, I mean, in general in his life. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I've banged my head on the wall with Josh at times when it comes to these things. You can't help it, though, at the end of the day, mate. You can't help it if you get bored. I knew you get bored with Inter Milan. And as soon as you said it, I'm like, why have you even bothered? It's almost as if you, you, you get an idea in your head, and then you start the save, and then within about a week, within about an hour of playing it, sorry, you're like, oh, I don't want to play this no more. You gotta find a narrative. You gotta find an angle. You gotta like think, right? I'm gonna have a storyline in my head on how I want this save to go, 
See, with me, um, it was to basically try and bring like the best reputation players in the world to the club, and uh, and also try and win something, which I've done. Still want to win the Champions League if I can, but I mean, I'm not going to beat myself up if I don't. Uh, I think I might go for Paul Pogba. Just, just for the lols. He'll probably play about 10 games and then kick off. Always in my home locker room, but yeah. Yeah, there you go. Listen to Copsy, Josh. Stay strong, my friend. Good advice, Copsy. What do you mean your wife says I ha you have issues too? What do you, wanna what do you mean, Josh? Tap me for an hour looking through teams, helping me to choose. <laughs> Showing likes teams that play in yellow. <laughs> See, well, so so sure plays in in yellow. So there you go. Yeah, I know. TW, that it doesn't get the love like um, football manager does. So it's a bit hard to 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 do that. Copsy, do you, do you watch? You do watch wrestling, don't you, Copsy? If I remember, have you ever played um, TW? The it's like literally the, the wrestling version of Football Manager. But yeah, I do love an old player. I like I like nostalgia. Me, if I could sign Dennis Bergkamp and Thierry Henry and players like that, I would sign them. In fact, there is like there is files out there that you can have with legends. I might just do that. I might just look at trying to start a save, and then just buy loads of the legend players that are uh, and that. So, but they won't be old. They'll be like in their prime, won't they? There'll still be. It might be a fun save to do online at some point. I might do that towards uh, just before Football Manager 2025 comes out. Right, here's our lineup. Costa in goal. Phillips is centre back with um, Diamande and Botman. Costa is right back. Tenali and Bruno in midfield. Hakimi is left back. Gordon on the right. Pedro Gonzalez on the left. And Osimen up front. Osimen on a good little run at the moment. Goal scoring. Nah, that's fair enough, mate. I think a lot of people, um, their interest in wrestling died off as they got older. I'm just a big kid. I've never really... I'll always watch it, even if, even though there's times where I'm not that into it. I'll still watch it out of habit. Similar to the... I'm the same with my soaps. I've watched, I've watched my soaps for years and years and years now, since I was a little kid. It's, just com it's what they call comfort food TV for me. Um, I finally got to watch... A, uh, Josh, I finally got to watch uh, the AEW pay-per-view. That was really good, to be honest. There were some really good matches on there. You should give it a watch if you haven't watched it. Um, I was happy. I was happy. My boy, my boy, Eddie Kingston. I've got his top on here. Eddie Kingston. There we go. I was happy. He beat John Moxley. Sorry, spoiler alert there. He beat John Moxley. Um, win the Continental Classic. So fair play to him. He's now got three titles. I feel sorry for him carrying them around everywhere. All right. Still nil nil. Let's uh, bridge the players a bit. I mean, I, I mean, I know you're know like an old player, but you look at this starting lineup, there's um, a lot of youngish players in here. Like Diamande, Botman, Coyote, Costa. And then even like players like Tonali and Bruno, they're still like they're still. I mean, Gordon's quite young, and you have got Gonzalez who's quite young, Osimhen who's in his late twenties. There's not many players here over thirty. I mean, even Nathaniel Phillips is twenty nine. Why does it put you off? It doesn't mean that you won't get. Big crowds because there's surrounding areas of uh, of so, uh, so sure, um as well, and you don't you don't need a big a big crowd to be successful. I think you should do it as so sure, youth only. Don't sign anyone. Don't use any downloadable tactics, and only play your players from youth system. I think you'd have more fun doing that because you'll feel like they're homegrown players, so you'll you'll want them to succeed more than buying players. And then your aim is to get in the League One and then become the best best youth academy in the world and in France because you've got a strong competition in France because you've got Rennes, you've got Lyon, 
there's a lot of French teams that have got successful youth academies. So that will be the chat. You've got goals there to achieve that you can achieve over a long period of time. And you've got short, short term goals as well. So you definitely should give them a go. It's up to you, Josh. I'm not going to put a gun to your head, mate. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what happened there. Um, let me just check OBS. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. I, I refreshed it and everything went back. Whoa, look at this, Josh. I've got nine people in now. Woo -woo. Hello, everyone. Feel free to say hello in the chat. Yeah. So what? What? Um, so Josh, you've been laying in bed all day. You lazy sod. No, I'm only joking. I hope you feel better soon, mate. Jokes aside. Topsy, what you've been doing today? Then anything exciting? I think I might have already asked you that. Sorry if I have. Yeah, fair play. What did you do? What? What's your usual routine at the gym then, Topsy? I tend to. Um, I tend to go to the gym two or three times a week. It's been two times a week lately because the weather's cold and I can't be bothered. Um, and, I, and I tend to go on about like eight or nine different machines, mostly arms and back and shoulders. Um, I don't really do much on my legs. And basically, I just, I just do, two, I do two reps on a, on a certain weight and then I up it and then that's what I do. I, I do too much in, in theory, really. I shouldn't be doing so many machines, but I don't find it, I don't find it that bad, to be honest. I feel like I can do it. No, Josh, don't be Dijon. You'll be bored of that. That is a pointless reason to... to that is a silly reason to start a save, surely. Right, we're 3-1 off. Gordon with two. Austin M with one. Take Austin M off and put Calvert-Lewin on. Give Austin M a rest. It's up to you, mate. Josh, you do what you think is right. I'll do a save with so sure at some point. If my journeyman save doesn't go very well and it, and it becomes boring, I might just end up doing a uh, so sure save on Twitch. But I've got to try and at least give it a few seasons and see where it goes. If I keep getting sat from every job that I'm doing, it's not going to be very entertaining for people to stay stay on track with. Josh, why don't you do what I did and get a mystery uh, mystery shirt? Get a mystery shirt. If you go on surpriseshirts.co.uk, um, you can even get a um, ten percent discount on something. And then just pick. And then there's an FM edition where you, whichever team they they, uh, whichever shirt that you get, you have to then be manage them. And then you just forced to do it, like I've had to do with Rafe Rovers. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people, Copsy, that do that. They, um, my uh, my old boss, he he used to go to the gym twice a day. He was a madman, but he had zero body fat. So, um, but he would work on different body parts depending on what the day is. Whereas I just do a general all around workout twice a week, and I feel like that's enough. I'm losing a bit of weight as I'm doing it, which is what I want to do. I'm not I'm not going too crazy. I'm a bit older than I'm probably a bit older than you, Copsy. I'm 39, so um, yeah. So I can't I can't push it like I used to, but I'm I'm not over the hill just yet. But yeah, just trying to make sure I I I blew out my calf muscle from doing too much um, walking and gym work last uh, last year. So um, yeah, so I to I, I, I'm having to take a step back really. Just trying to be better with my diet to make up for the lack of exercise I'm doing. Yeah, I know what you mean. How old are you, Copsy? If you don't mind me asking, are you are you in are you in your late thirties like I am, or are you a bit younger? All right, Pogba. We could be signing Paul Pogba. Obviously, he won't be coming. It'd be pointless siding him if we don't end up doing another season. I think we've got to do another season now just so we can see how Pogba does. 
Have I got money for Pogba? Um, yeah, I am, just about. Oh, 31, yeah. Still quite young, still a whippersnapper. I think Josh is about the same age as you. Could be wrong. Oh, to be 30. I thought, bloody hell, it feels like it feels like so long ago when I turned 30. I say that though, but it doesn't actually the last 10 years have gone so quickly in a way. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago at all. Fortunately, it's what happens when you get older. 10 years just goes so quickly. It's so sad. Sorry, a bit morbid here on my stream. I do apologize. Yeah. Right, we've got the Ronaldo Beckham derby game here, I call it. My uh both the teams that I was managing playing in the FA Cup. We've got um he's a target forward, isn't he? No, he's not, he's a pressing forward. Ah, there we go. Right, so Trubin and goal, Diamande, Inecho and Botman, defence, Hartman back there on the left, Gusto on the right, Joe Linton, Brahim Diaz in the middle of midfield, Kruner on the left, Gordon on the right. The winger. Um, yep, yeah, so that's that. We'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, I know, mate. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We're, we're, having, we're going through some stress at the moment because um, he's worrying about my housing situation because basically, for people who didn't know, if, you, if I can't remember if I told you not, Josh, um, my landlord... Told me a couple of months ago that in January they're going to put my rent up uh, from 600 to 700. Uh, I unfortunately can't afford to pay the extra, and it's not just the fact that I can't afford it. If even if I could, I wouldn't out of principle because it, it, if I pay it now, and then there's nothing to stop them say six months time putting it up again. So I, I, I flat out refuse. So they've now sent me. They're going to. They've started a section 21. So in about in a, in a couple of months, I'll probably have to go to court about it if I'm still here. In the meantime, I am trying to look for somewhere. Um, the annoying thing about it is my my girlfriend's got her own house. She pays she's paying a mortgage off, but um, her mom's living there. So mom only moved her mom moved in during lockdown, the first lockdown, and she's quite happy and settled there. She doesn't want to leave, and she doesn't want to live with a man because she's unfortunately had, um, issues with men in the past. Her mom, um, so she doesn't want to live with another man, even though she gets on well with me. So, um, difficult situation, really. I'm probably, share I'm probably sharing way too much at this point. I don't want to get in trouble with my, my partner, but... Yeah, so she's stressing out, worrying about my housing situation. But, um, yeah, it's a big jump. And also, as well, what, the annoying thing about it is this, ha this flat, the whole building that people are living in here, it's a, de it's a death trap because the building needs to be basically... Um, it needs to be knocked down and built back up because the structure of the building it, it, and the windows and stuff like that, it leaks water. So my windows get really bad condensation and water leaks through the windows and there's like a breeze. So the windows don't, sh the windows aren't shut properly. So it, it makes the flat really cold. And when we've only got storage heaters, get in, Connor. Um, when we've only got storage heaters, it makes it impossible to get warm in this flat. So I kind of just can't wait to move out just so I can get somewhere with central heating so I can actually be warm. I'm, I'm staying at my girlfriend's house from tomorrow until Monday simply because the, the weather's going to be so cold that my girlfriend doesn't want me to be in this flat because she doesn't want me to get ill and she doesn't want to get ill as well. So we're staying at hers on the weekend. Is that a necessity? So it's stressful. It's stressful, but... The thing is, we're very close, me and my partner, and we we sh we we're, we're there for both. We're there for each other, basically. We 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 work well as a team. So, um, but I was annoying her because she was trying to look for places to live for me. But because I've spent so many years, over, I've moved, I've moved so many times over the years that I can spot, I I can spot a um, a fake pro, a fake advert because there's a lot of scams out there. I can I can spot when somebody says that, that there's a flat for for rent, but then you look at it and it's actually a room in the flat. So I annoyed her because she's trying and I'm going, no, that's not good enough, no, that's not good enough. 
and I, I, my reasons are justified, but she's getting frustrated. So she's, she's taking a step back from it because it's affecting her mental health. So I've just told her, let me deal with it, and you just concentrate on you. She'll be back at work on Monday. She's had two weeks off. The whole two weeks she's been stressing out about me. But yeah, you know what it's like when you're in a relationship. You take on your partner's struggles. Topsy, have you got a missus? I know, I know Josh is married. Have you got, have you got a, a lady in your life? Unless you don't want to tell me. If that's personal, you don't need to tell me, mate. I'm just asking. Probably don't, because you're probably spending too much time in the gym, that's why. <laughs> you probably don't have time to have a girlfriend. Uh, Trubin's knackered, so we're just going to... Uh, reserve goalkeeper. Let's get in. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Ah, uh, congratulations. Were you with your partner long before you got married? Josh, you weren't with your partner that long, were you, before you two got married? And I'm not having a go at you about that. I'm just, I'm just saying. It was very quick, wasn't it? Because I remember you being with your ex and that didn't work out. And then next thing you know, I got to, you know, you told me you were with somebody. And then I see photos of you getting married. And I thought, oh, fair play to you. Josh is a very lucky man. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that in like, I'm trying to chat with your missus, Josh. I'm just saying, she's, 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 she looks like a very lovely woman. You're very lucky, mate. Bloody hell, that was quick, Josh. I mean, if it works, it works for you at the end of the day. We're all different, aren't we? Like I said, I've been with my partner eight months, and I literally, within the first couple of weeks of being with her, I knew that I was going to end up marrying her one day, and I will do. Um, but we've got to move in together first and then figure it out from there, really. But uh, when you know, you know, mate. Yeah, fair play to you both. I'm glad you've got women in life. Hopefully they're understanding of your... Uh, Obsession with football manager. Well, not you so much, Copsy, because obviously you don't play it as much now. But um, I've had I've had one I've had one particular ex who hated it. I used to be on I used to be on my laptop all the time playing football manager, and it used to drive her mad. Um, my current girlfriend, she's not that bothered because she's quite happy just to sit on the sofa opposite me and play on her phone. I always make sure that I make time for her. As well, so I'll come off my laptop at a certain time at night and then sit with her and watch TV with her. Um, so the situation with the mom is basically my my partner's got a few options that she's going to float by her mom. So at the moment, her mom doesn't pay that much towards the mortgage or the bills. She pays like about hundred something pounds a, a month. So. She works full time, my partner's mom. She is looking to retire and will go part time next year. Uh, this sorry, this year, sometime this year. Um, so, but what my partner's saying to her is either she moves out and gets her own place, or um, basically, um, my she'll end up paying my girlfriend rent. So she'll be paying. She'll probably get like six. She'll probably pay her six hundred pounds a month. So then that money that my girlfriend gets from that, she can put towards a bit towards paying rent so me and her can get our own place because we can't do it at the moment because she's got a mortgage and everything else that she's paying out for. Um, so there's that. And then the other option is to rent out just because it's a three-bedroom house. So even if a mom pays £600 a month, in the, in the middle, of, in literally quite close to Birmingham, she's doing very well. Because um, a three-bedroom house in, in Birmingham, for instance, you're probably looking at about nine hundred thousand pounds a month, so she's well under, and that's six hundred pounds a month, including all bills. Because obviously, I'm, I'm, she's not going to make her mom pay for that. So yeah, um, but yeah, so we'll just see. But the other option is, if she doesn't want to do that, is to rent out my girlfriend or rent out two of the rooms in the house. But then we know that her mom won't like that because of the simple fact is that her mom doesn't want to live with anybody. So there's a few options, Copsy. None, none, none of them are going to... Uh, she's not going to be happy with any of them. But at the end of the day, my, my partner's had enough because she wasn't meant to be there longer than, say, like six months while the first lockdown was happening. 
So she she feels like she's her mom's taken over her house and and she she's had enough. But anyway, I'll probably probably overshare too much here. I hope mom, I hope my partner doesn't watch this. She'll kill me when she gets back. But yeah, right. Let's sort this out now. Advanced playmaker support. Have him as a poacher. You are. That is your best role. That's your best role. That's your best role. That's your best role. Right. Okay. Let's get back in with this. Now, her mom doesn't want to live with another person, especially a man, because of um, some like uh, some situation with her with with her ex husband. Basically, I, I don't want to go too much into that. Obviously. So yeah. So. Uh, no, not 900k, Copsy. Sorry, I don't know. I meant 900 quid, mate. Did I say 900k? <laughs> no, 900, 900 pounds, mate. Um, but no, I can't. I can't even move in with her temporarily because, like I said, she just, she just won't have it. But yeah, because I can't. Like I said, I can't. I can get a one-bedroom place. Flat, but that doesn't really help. That means that my partner can't live with me because it'd be too small. Um, especially with the amount of stuff my partner's got. She's got a ridiculous amount of stuff. And then um it needs to be close to where she well, not close to where she works, but close ish to where she works as well. So we we're just trying to figure it all out. But my partner's getting really anxious, um, trying to think about how she wants to talk to her mum about it. I've told her just to leave it for a few weeks and then have the conversation with her. In a few weeks, there's no immediate rush for me to move out. But yeah, we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. But I'll keep you posted as we go along. Yeah, my partner's been wanting my her mom to voluntarily move out a year or two ago, but she just never. She's quite happy and content there. She feels secure there, which is, you know, a woman of her age. It is. It is something that they 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 look for. They look for that they feel safe in the street that they live in. So like, and I don't want her to feel like she needs to, she needs to be forced out as well, because she might end up living somewhere where she's not comfortable, not happy. But yeah, I'm just I'm just leaving my girlfriend to sort it out now, and I've told her in the meantime I'll look at one bedroom flats, and then in a few weeks' time, if my partner doesn't want to have that conversation, I'll just look at one bedroom places. But it's upset my partner because she moved in, she moved in literally the first of January this year, and then the second of January I had that phone call from me. Landlord to say that they're going to do a section 21 because I can't afford to pay the extra rent. Yeah, also would be a good team. Um, yeah, I am. I am. I've told her. I've told her not to because she was getting a bit upset about it yesterday. So I've told her not to. Or think about it now for the rest of the weekend just to relax because she'll be back at work on Monday. So I'm trying to get her just to sit and relax and just and just enjoy doing nothing for the next couple of days and do a bit of reading and stuff like that. And then, you know, in a few weeks' time, if she wants to have that conversation, she can. But if she doesn't, then I'll just start looking at one-bedroom places. But I'm going to stop anyway for now. I'm just going to stay here for a few weeks and just see how it goes. Do you live in Liverpool? I can't remember. I know you're a Liverpool fan. But I can't remember if you said you live in Liverpool. Josh, can you remember? You've got a better memory than I am. Was Copsy the one from Sussex? Or was that... um That was somebody else, wasn't it? Was it you, Copsy? There we go. Good goal, Gonzalez. Oh, you live in Scotland? Oh, okay. I see Josh is better than this, remembering this stuff, man. Where in Scotland are you from again? I can't remember. I know, I think I said, to, I think we had a conversation about that because I said my dad was, um, my dad was born in Peebles on the Scottish border, so I'm half Scottish. All right, we're still 1 0 not be paying any attention to this case. I've been talking about my housing situation, everybody, so sorry about that. Right. Oh, no. 
That was it. Goku with some Sussex money. Yeah, Goku Snake. Yeah, sorry, uh, sorry, Copsy. Um, I got you mistaken for this other guy. Right, one nil up. We're now fourth, which is where we want to be. That's the least we want to be. Thirty-six games gone. I think there's not many games left, so it's going to be a tough one. But. Chelsea's got a game ahead of us, so it might not be in our control. All right, we won 1 0. That's all we can do. Oh, we're playing Chelsea next game. That'll be interesting. Um, right, so yeah, we're fourth. 36 games gone. Many games are left. Got two, two Premier League games left one against Chelsea, one against bloody Arsenal. We couldn't ask for a bloody more difficult. Then again, if we beat Chelsea, Man City lose, and then we beat Arsenal with second. So it's, uh, it's all to play for. Okay, I'm definitely going to holiday this, lads, because it's 21 days. So it's easier and quicker. You can still go through the inbox items. All right, we'll do that. Um, what is Goku, by the way? What's it, what, is that a Pokemon reference? I don't know. Who do I want to sign for Newcastle next? I don't think there's anybody left that I, I really fancy. I haven't been there. Any older players? They've all retired. Benzema's not playing. Um, I will probably... I will... If I, if I get... Oh, Dragon Ball. Okay, that's why I didn't get the reference. Um, yeah, if I do... If I do get top four and Champions League football, then I will do another season on Twitch. Because obviously... What I want to try and do is win the Champions League with Messi in his last season at, uh, at football. That'd be a nice romantic way of doing it. Um, be a nice way to end the save, especially if Messi scores the winner in the Champions League final. That'd be brilliant. So we'll see. But yeah, the journeyman save will be started um, at, at probably by the end of next week, if not sooner. It just depends on how we get on here. But I'm going to be starting the Rafe Rover save on YouTube. Sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable and I keep moving my webcam. I do apologise. Right, okay. Um done this split up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll see. Any recommendations for older players I can try and sign? And maybe I'll look at trying to sign Harry Kane. I don't think we'll get him. I don't think we'll if we get a decent transfer budget, I'm gonna go all in for Harry Kane, I think. See if I can sign him. I think that's the next marquee signing for me. Any other recommendation? I could have a, I could have Son and Harry Kane reunite for one last season. Uh, I think he'll be 32, 31, 32. So he's still he's still got a, a bit left in the tank, isn't he? I'll have a look in a second. When this when this finishes holidaying, I'll have a look. Yeah. We'd have him up front with awesome men rotating. And then we'd have Messi on the right. Um, Son on the left. Hopper in the middle of midfield, hopefully, if he's good enough, or at least. Uh, Jude, mm, I think he'd be a bit too pricey. I don't think I'll have the money for him and Kane. I might be able to sign one or the other. Um, and also, as well, there's no guarantee either of them will come to me because... Unless I win the title, which I'm not going to do, I might not be big enough for them to jump from, from their clubs, especially like selling them from Real Madrid. But I can definitely have a look at trying to sign them. I might look at signing Haaland. Maybe if Man City don't win the title, they, he might want to leave there. Might be able to entice him with a big wage. It just depends on how much money we get. I might do a Real Madrid save at some point and just just like replicate what I've done with Newcastle. Just try and I know it's not it's not I know it's not like Real Madrid's transfer policy now, but their old transfer policy was to sign the world's best players. So they would sign these Galactico players, and I might just try and replicate that. That might be a fun save to do on Twitch at some point before FM25. But it's it's I don't think they'll have the money to sign them type of players. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Enjoy the rest of your uh, 
Enjoy the rest of your day. All the best, Copsy. Thank you, mate. Yeah, Josh. Just bear with me, Josh. I'm just I know you know what I look like, but I'm just gonna uh just gonna shut the I'm just gonna close this webcam. A second. Does that work? That's not work. Yeah, it does. I just gotta clean my glasses, Josh. Bear, bear with me. Uh Right, two seconds just to put my mask back on. Then you just realised my avatar's blue. Well, yeah, I'm Josh. Right. Um, still think I, I still feel like my glasses aren't clean. Probably have to clean them again in a minute. Right, let's see. Uh, player. Right, praise him. All Pogba's applications been rejected. Hopefully, we'll get him on appeal. Got a new one-year new one-year partnership with the telecoms community uh, communication company. Ninety million into the bank. The owner just taking the piss at that point. My glasses feel worse than they were a second ago before I bloody cleaned them. Josh, you figured out what team you're managing? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm literally just about to. <laughs> Okay, how long do you reckon are we going to do a prediction on that? Uh, oh, it doesn't look like we're getting popular. Uh, are we doing a prediction on uh, how long you're going to do this also save before you get bored? I reckon you'll get through pre-season and then get bored. What do you reckon? Medical. You failed a medical. That's nothing to do with the work permit. Did you mean failed work permit? I don't know. It's the new registration rules in England, isn't it? Um, God knows. I'll try again in the summer. See if I can sign them in the summer. Uh, Aminio still where? I spelt that wrong. Roberto. Uh, there we go. He's currently at West Ham. He won't be worth signing. All right, let's have a look and see how old Harry Kane is. Harry Kane on my shortlist, 32 years old. I'll see if we can sign him. We probably won't be able to. Won't be interested. Ah, he's keeping his options open for the World Cup, so he might be interested after the World Cup. Might be worth us looking into signing. Work permit, work permit. There yeah, was a work permit. Just ridiculous, isn't it? Right, I just need to clean my glasses, Josh. I haven't cleaned the properties. I'm just going to close the webcam, but I'm still going to be here, mate. Just bear with me. I've got a, a special silky cloth I can use. We'll do a better job. You're very lucky that you don't have to wear glasses, Josh. It's so annoying. Hello to anybody else in the Twitch chat. Feel free to say hello. Uh, you have any football manager questions? Any questions about the save? Any questions uh, when ask me about football or wrestling? As I'm a big wrestling fan. Me and Josh are both wrestling fans. Let us know who your favourite wrestler is. My girlfriend's favourite wrestler is LA Knight and John Cena and Cody Rhodes. She, she's like a typical... Uh, old school wrestling fan. She hates the bad guys and loves the good guys. <laughs> Every time Paul Heyman comes along, 
you just booze him. It's quite funny. Oh, yeah, I'm back. There we go. Right. Now I feel like my glasses are not properly. I'll say. Right. Let me have a look at Orcs Earth for you. I think I've, I've spelt that right. There we go. Let me see how they're doing. So on this save on here at the moment, they're in the third place in League 2, Josh. Um, just in case you want to look at their players here. you got Goofa Hine. Has he been there for a few years? He's been there for a few years, so he's probably your best player. Lassine Simioko. Some of these probably won't be in your team because they might have bought them and stuff. Um, we'll have a look at transfer history. I haven't really sold anybody for big money. Oh, they did. They, the season before they did. Sold a couple of players to give you an idea on who you might get some decent money for when you do your save. Yeah, that's about it, really. Fucking glasses are still playing up. Oh, it's going. Gosh, I'm just going to move the camera over here. Bear with us. So sorry about this, mate. If it was just you on here, I probably wouldn't care. I'd probably just take my mask off and just... You've seen my face before. Scary looking face as well, hence why I wear the mask. <laughs> right. Okay. I feel like they're clean now. I feel like they're clean. Right, okay. Yeah, I think that's better. All right, let's get back this on here now. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, we're back down to fifth now. We've got to win this game for sure. Very important. Oh, no, hold on. Uh, oh, balls. Okay. Yeah, I think that's how my... I think that's how my eyesight got worse and worse because when I was in my 20s, when I was still living, unfortunately, in my... My parents, I'd have the, I'd be, I'd have my face right. Well, I've always been like that as a kid. I'd have my face right next to the screen. So uh, I think that didn't help. And I, and I, and, it, and I waited too long to get glasses, and I think I did some uh, damage to my long term eyesight by not getting it sorted quickly enough. So anybody who's doing that, please get your eyes checked and sorted before it gets too late. Oh, that is not the best of starts. That is not good at all. Oh, uh, maybe we won't be doing a uh, another season. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of this stream. Though. I'm only an hour in. I don't really want to end the stream after an hour and a half. Then again, it would give me a nice rest. Um, but no, I'll see how I get on. Hopefully, we can get a goal here. No, we can't. Come on, let's win this game. Let's let's keep our top four dreams alive. Ah, uh, saying that though, Man City's got a game ahead of us. Right. Let's try and win this game and then we'll worry about everybody else afterwards. Then again, if if, if uh, an English team wins the Champions League, I think I think we get another Champions League place, don't we? That's it, there we go. Nah, I won't get fired, mate. I don't think I won't. I mean I I could. Um I think their expectations, hold on. Let's have a look at the club club vision. So, uh, expectations is to qualify the champion. Well, why are they disappointed with that? Qualify for the Euro? Oh, was that? We put that on. A half finish. Are they, are they off their heads? I'm bloody fifth. Right, develop the best youth system in the world. They're pleased, apparently. What about the, uh, where's the, where do they, where do they, where do they, where do they there? Can't get my words out. I don't know where they want me to be in the league. Is this one qualified for the Europa League? Oh, I don't know. Josh, you probably know better than I do. I'm disappointed, even though I'm I'm due to qualify to win this game. I'm going to get hopefully top four, so I'll be qualifying for Champions League, which is better than the Europa League. Yet they're disappointed that I'm going to qualify for the Europa League. Uh. No. Run around. 
Messi. Uh, Gordon. No, we'll leave Messi for a bit. Oh. Oh, okay. Right, let's see if this substitution will help. Uh, let's figure out if everybody's in their best roles as well. My mouse is playing. Right. Uh, Messi, yeah. Gonna, you in inside forward. Yeah, that's fine. That seems all right. That seems all right. Yeah, it all seems all right. Okay. Right, Messi. Will he become the hero? Will he get us in the top four? Lining up the free kick. I feel like he's going to shoot from here. Yep. Lined up for him for the shot. Ah. Uh, oh, that was a goal. Okay. Probably offside, though. I think the keeper saved it and then carried he headed it. By the looks of it, but I think he might be offside. Oh, it isn't. He's awarded it. Excellent. That's good. Get in. Now, third. Third, and we're playing Arsenal next game. We could end up being second in the league if we a better goal difference, but then I'm getting too ahead of myself here, especially with Chelsea having a free kick. Right, I need to take off Messi. Oh, uh, okay. Messi, you can come off. Salvez, come on, and we'll play you as an uh, inside forward support. Oh no, they've got another free kick. Oh, I thought that was in then. I thought our Champions League uh, journey was out. Oh, we're still fifth. We're third a second ago. It's the other team that's won in it. All right, come on. Kimi, go on. Go on, Ankuna. All right, shoot. Oh, come on. That was terrible. Even I would have shot better than that. All right, so Nelly can come off. Uh, Clark, you can come on. Cody, you can come off. There we go. All right, let's just finish this game up now. We'll be happy with 2 1 here. Amanda, you're going a bit too far there, aren't you? Yeah, now you've lost the ball. Now we're going to come and stop. You've left all that space. Oh, that was all right. Luckily, your NHO saved your ass. Nice little passing going on here. Oh, that was a terrible pass, Kuna. Kuna, I don't know what his name is. Pedro Gonzalez. Beautiful pass. Oh, rattles the bar. Right, free kick for Chelsea. Hopefully that's no more. Thank you to everyone following me on Twitch today. Um, Copsy, Josh, and anybody else. Thank you. Do appreciate it. All right, come on. Just see this game out now. No, we do not want to concede a late equaliser here. Oh, Jesus Christ, me art nearly went then. All right, two one. Good stuff. Where are we in the league though? Are we fifth? Are we third? Are we fourth? Fifth. Still fifth. Oh, no, we're not. We're third. I was looking at Chelsea then. Bloody hell. Ignore me. We're third, Josh. We've one game to go. Arsenal away. Um, I'll probably holiday this. Josh, have you, had, have you took anything for your tonsillitis and that? Have they given you anything?
Oh, okay. That's good. Have you definitely been, a, have you definitely been told you can take them antibiotics? Because you don't want to just be taking them willy-nilly. Are they gonna? Are they, does it matter as long as they're antibiotics? I wouldn't know. I've been quite lucky in life. I haven't really been ill that much. Paul Josh has been on a bit of a bad run of it. He was in hospital for weeks, including uh, over Christmas period, and then he he gets better, and then he ends up getting um, tonsillitis. The Paul sod. That's the kissing disease, though. To, uh, I, I don't know. How you got that. I'm joking, by the way. Um, right, let's just work our way through this. Uh, Martinez, maybe? He might be a good option. Oh, no, not, not that price. We've got no chance. probably would have dominated within some of them, Josh, if they had Martinez still there. Harry Kane. I don't want to be. Uh, they're not happy with be develop the best youth system. I don't know what they want us to do. Our, our facilities are rubbish. The coaching is not very good. You look at this now. We look at the facilities. I don't understand how they expect me to do this. I'm saying that though, I've got state of the art youth facilities, I suppose. Actually, in hindsight, they probably have, they're probably right to complain. I didn't realise. I thought Newcastle didn't bother with their youth academy. But I didn't realise that they had that. But they have got some good youngsters coming through. But I don't know. How, how do you get the best? What do you, Josh, do you know how you're supposed to get the best? Develop the best youth system in, in the country. How do you go about doing that? You have to just sell loads of young players or something. Is that how you do it? But then again, they're, say, they're saying here that they've failed, but they're very pleased with the work done to improve the club's youth system. Oh, I don't understand this. Right, Arsenal now. Right, last game of the season. Costa in goal. Diamande, Ineccio and Botman in the centre of defence. Coyote and Hakimi as the fullbacks. Bruno Gomez and Tonali in the centre of midfield. Then Sun on the left, Messi on the right. And us men up front, probably our strongest team, first time all season. Yeah, but look, all my facilities and coaching are maxed out, Josh. I can't, I can't ask for any more. They're already maxed out. I don't understand what they're complaining about. I think it must be something to do with maybe I've got to sell some of my youngsters or something. I don't know. Oh, thank God for that. Right. Got a in player injured already. Goes on for uh, Coyote, by the looks of it. Right. Let's, let's see if we can still... If we get a draw, I think we still... I think, I think we still get Champions League football. Top four, I think. See the, we'll have a look at the league table on this highlight finishing. No, 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 no. There you go. Um, okay, man more. Okay. I'll have to highlight in this game. Oh, God's sake. I want to have a look at the league table then. Right, okay, we've got the ball back. Oh, oh, I thought Awesome Man was getting on the end of that then. Oh, I don't get top four Champions League football. What do you reckon I should do, Josh? Do you think I should just... I think I should call it quits, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm going to call it quits if I don't get top four. Um, we're currently fifth if this carries on. 
that'll be annoying. What I'll probably do then is probably start the journeyman save today and just try and get my first job and then and then save it as that. So we'll be alright, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll finish the end of the season and that and then um this is the last game of the season anyway. Oh there, good good tackle there. Right, let's go. See how we go. We might win this. I'm probably being negative. We might win this. It's still nil nil. And the other games, if we draw this and the other games go our way, we might still get top four. Arsenal are all over us. Right, cross, header. Uh, oh, oh, bloody hell, that rattled the ball then. See that, Josh? Fucking amazing shot. Right, we're still fifth. We need to win this game. Can't draw this game because we won't we won't qualify unless Chelsea do us a favour and lose. Starting to pick up a bit of uh, momentum there a little bit with more highlights for, uh, on our side here. Hakimi. Oh, I thought we were going to score then. I thought we were going to FM for Arsenal. Right, half time. <sighs> that is not what we needed. Our main striker injured. Right. Oh, I'm going to have a. How long? What's he injured with? Potential groin injury. Got anybody? Uh, Albert Lewin? Uh, we'll change Calvert Lewin's role. Pressing forward, any? Pressing forward. Ah, okay. Right, can Calvert Lewin save the day? Can he be the hero? What do you reckon, Josh? Do you reckon Calvert Lewin will score? Do you reckon he'll score the winner? Do you reckon it's going to be messy? Akimi now? Oh, come on, Akimi, you're not playing rugby. Jesus Christ. Lionel Messi's not playing very well, actually, so he's going to come off. Put Gonzalez on there. Uh, Bruno's knackered, so we'll take him off. Can't take him off. Right, OK. Uh, thank you to the new people who just joined the Twitch chat. Say hello. Feel free to say hello. I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. This is the, for people who don't know, this is the last game of season three. Um, if I somehow get Champions League football, um, I will do another season with Newcastle. If not, we'll carry on the stream and I'll start a new save as a European journeyman. So you might be interested in keeping out for that. We've got enough time. We've only done an hour and a half. We've probably, um, saying that though, I'm going to holiday until December, so it, it, I might just keep playing. I'll just keep playing until I get it done. I don't mind. Yeah, let's just see how this game goes. Still time. Arsenal look like the better team, though. I feel like any point Arsenal's going to just score now. That'll be the end of that. Quite interesting, actually, because abruptly both saves end on the same day because my Everton save on YouTube ended today as well because I got sacked. So um spoiler to anybody watching the Everton series on YouTube, I apologize. But yeah, I get sacked um in an episode that will be aired on Sunday. So yeah, so I might start next week with two completely different saves, new saves. Rattled the bar again. Josh what which uh which so I'm thinking the European journeyman save, and I'm thinking, thinking England down to the conference, uh, the 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 Varmarama, North and South, French league down to the lowest division possible. Same with Italy, same with Germany, same with Spain, same with Portugal, same with Netherlands. Probably do Belgium league as well. 
any other countries that you would recommend that might be a good chance of me getting a job or do you think i should just do smaller countries like places like finland iceland would that be that would be more interesting as i say yeah holland oh my god are you bored of orcs already oh okay fair enough if that's what if that's the type of save you like doing why don't you try Saudi Arabia? Have you tried? Have you thought about doing Saudi Arabia? See if you can get, um, maybe manage the team Ronaldo's playing for. See if you can buy Messi from into Miami within a year, and then because I think Ronaldo retires after a year in the game anyway, you won't be able to get them both playing. But you can replace Ronaldo with Messi. Ah, uh, nil 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 by the looks of it. Yeah, we're not getting top four unless Chelsea have just lost out of nowhere. Just didn't have enough in the tank. Ah, fifth. Ah, oh well. It was nice while it lasted. It was a, it was a good run. We enjoyed it for what it was. Curious, how much would I be given transfer budget? Have I been given my transfer budget? No. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna see. I'm just gonna keep going until they announce the transfer budgets. Oh, hold on. We've got another game, haven't we? We got the FA Cup final. We got the FA Cup final, Josh. Which teams are rich but not the best? Chelsea, Newcastle. Uh, uh. I mean, Monaco maybe in France. Um. Almeria, Almeria in Spain. They've got a fair bit of money. Yeah, it was weird, isn't it? The team I had at the start was better than the team I've got now, which doesn't make sense, does it? Right, we'll play the FA Cup final. Uh, you never know. It'd be nice. I think it'd be a nice ending if we win the FA Cup final, and then we can say in three seasons we won the FA Cup final and the Premiership. Yeah, it would have been nice to win the Champions League, but still done well. Yeah, anybody in the Twitch chat, you got any recommendations? What countries you want me to potentially start in in my journeyman save? And let me know. What I could do is probably look at maybe loading up. I'll have a look at the nation's rankings or something, and then I'll figure it out from there. So I can start with the lowered countries and then just add and remove countries as I'm going along, maybe make it a long-term save where I don't, I don't know, win one nation at a time or something, complete it, and then go on to the next nation. Maybe countries like Finland, um, Iceland, Croatia, Czech Republic, Slovakia, countries I've not necessarily managed in before. Might be interesting. Let me know in the uh, in the Twitch chat if you've got any opinions on that. Right, FA Cup final time now. Can we end this save? Well, right. Sun's up front. Okay, that's an interesting one. Uh, he's a poacher, so that's fine. And Gonzalez, yeah. Yep, yeah, they seem to be all in their position. They play him. What's his best position? Zala. Uh, I think that's him. Hartman in the centre of defence. Are we that bloody bad in the centre? So we've got to play Hartman in the set. Okay, right then. See how we get on. Would have been nice to have Austin, Austin M for the last game of the season as well. He was my marquee signing. He was the player I wanted to bring in. Bryson had the biggest budget. What, what budget have Bryson got? 
maybe you should start a save with Bryson, but don't go for every single Wonder Kid. Maybe just be a bit picky and choosy with who you sign. Maybe look at signing Wonder Kids from countries outside the top 10 nations or something. Uh, Man United have got the first highlight of the game, I think. Oh, thank God for that. I thought they were going to score then. Uh, right, let's try and encourage the players. The 90 million? Jesus Christ. There you go, then. That's your next save. Brighton. What you should try and do is do it like real life, Brighton. So just try and replicate their transfer policy. Sell, sell the players and then just get replacements for cheap. And then sell them. So just you just you're always looking for the next the next unknown wonder kid basically from different nations. Because they don't just they don't just buy players in like certain leagues. I know they kind of they, they have signed quite a few players from the French French lower leagues and stuff and that, I think. And South America, but you don't necessarily have to replicate it completely, but yeah, probably yeah, but they didn't just sell Casido, they sold um McAllister as well, didn't they? And they probably sold other players as well. Did they sell anybody else? I see. Ah. Still nil nil though. We've still got a chance. They they've been the better team though. We've not we've not been uh, good enough. Definitely definitely could do with. Uh, how it living on? Right, we did have the ball, but we lost it. There we go, we got it now. Then we lose it again. Oh, and then we're just gonna get we're gonna get a player sent off now. They didn't even didn't even hesitate. It was just straight red card, wasn't it? Ah, oh, well, nice. Uh, cancel. That. And take Son off and we'll put on uh Sod off. Right, we'll put Son in here. And Mado will go there. Uh Messi can go up front. Pedro will make you more compact, we'll have you here. Um Best roll up front. Okay, track Easter. Right, we're hoping here and praying for a miracle. Yeah, Robert Sanchez as well. How much did they get for Robert Sanchez, Josh? They didn't get. They got quite a bit, didn't they? Also, as well, they got money for for um, Graham Potter leaving as well because I think Chelsea paid like thirty million to buy him out of his contract. They've had a hell of a lot of money, but they, they've, been, they've done really well. But they haven't really invested that much in the replacements. And uh, De Zabi's been a... Oh, there we go, 1-0. De Zabi's been a better coach than Graham Potter has, I think. I think he's a better manager. Ah, 1-0. Can't say it's all on Diaz getting sent off because we weren't we were getting destroyed in the match. Ah, uh, such a shame. Would have been so nice to win the FA Cup final in the last game of the season. And now you're toying with us at this point. Ah, uh, two 0 Oh well. Right, that'll be the end of the save. Um, we'll spend next hour or hour and a half 
on figuring out where we what, what team we're going to manage next because we're going to quit this save we're going to start a new save you're going to watch me pick the countries and the leagues and then i'm going to fast forward to december the 31st in that save and then basically we will start applying for jobs then so uh josh you can keep me company while i'm when i'm uh holidaying because it will take a while then we can start applying for jobs and then We'll end, we'll end the stream on, on us getting an, the job and then the next next episode, the, the next stream will be us starting a, a new club on our new save. Very exciting. Get this game. Actually, in fact, I'm going to put this as... going to get this because we're not going to win. There you go, 3-0. We'll just do commentary only. We'll just get this game done now. Painful to watch. I nice to see my team in real life actually winning something though. Yeah, we've just not been good enough. Two shots in this match. Oh well. Right, let me just have a quick look to see how much money we get for the next season. Uh, are they not going to tell us? Volendam. Are you asking me to manage Volendam, or were you decided to now manage Volendam? Yeah, both my saves have ended badly. Didn't win anything in my third final season with Newcastle. Couldn't even get Champions League. I got sacked to Everton, so it's been a bit of a bad day for uh, me playing FM. Right, are you going to tell me how much money I'm going to get? Still haven't had me transfer budgets updated. No point changing my tactic now, is there? <laughs> I'm not going to be uh, staying here now. Oh, there we go. So we've got 246 million. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 246 million, Josh. Yeah, right then. We'll quit this. Do that. Um, then we'll go. We'll just delete this game now. Um, I'm just gonna two seconds, Josh. I'm just gonna stop the recording here.